Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Easy Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this abstract liquid shape animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. color is solid white but for this time I choose black color over here hit ok and hit ok choose grid and guide option and hit title selection now first thing we'll do we'll select one ellipse and by holding shift I'll create one circle over here press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center select this ellipse press V for selection tool and I'll move this thing over here select this ellipse hit ctrl d move this thing over here press s for scaling option and scale it down again hit ctrl d move this thing over here press s for scaling option scale it something like this again hit ctrl d move this circle over here you can scale it from here by holding shift just like this now after that what i'll do i'll tweak some color uh, I'll select this circle over here for the color I'll choose blue color for this one I'll choose something like this over here I'll go with this color and over here I'll choose a little bit like this now select all of them Go to the effect and presets panel and apply wiggle effect on it wiggle position double click so it, we will get some wiggly animation over here now after that i'll create one adjustment layer and i'll apply gaussian blur effect over here For the blurriness, I'll choose 40. Oh, if you want, then you can increase something like this. After that, create another adjustment layer and apply simple choker effect and increase the amount up to 30. Let's say now, if we hit play, we are getting this kind of stuff. Now, you can play with these colors. I'll change color combinations over here. If I hit play, we are getting this kind of stuff. <coughs> now, after that, what we will do, we will select all of them, press Ctrl Shift C, I will call it as Ellipse Animations, and hit OK. Now, hit Ctrl D over here, apply Find Edge Effect on it make this inward press f4 for the blending mode i'll choose green press v and move this upward and then over here something like this now zoom in a little bit and i'll move this thing over here so we'll get some different animation same hit ctrl d this time drag it over here and i'll move this over here and i'll drag it down and yeah just like this press t for opacity and let's make it 40. so we are getting this kind of stuff now if you want go to the ellipse and i'll create another circle over here press ctrl alt home move this ellipse over here 
as you can see we are not getting this ellipse so for the get rid of this press s and increase the scale until we see our ellipse and move this thing over here hit ctrl d over here drag this thing over here change the color for this one also and for this one also i'll change the color of these things let's do something like this hit ok drag this near to this thing again hit ctrl d i'll drag this thing over here now after select these three circles again i'll apply wiggle effect on it wiggle position effect so we will get this kind of stuff go to the main animation again as you can see we are getting this thing over here also now after that this is our main thing so right click go to the layer styles and choose bevel emboss go to the bevel emboss i'll increase the size and for this color i'll choose blue color hit ok and for this color also i'll choose something like blue or you are free to choose anything i'll choose dark blue color hit ok and increase the softness you can increase the size also if you want then you can increase the opacity also just like this now if i hit play as we can see we are getting this liquid stuff over here so yep this is one kind of final animation now only thing we will do we will add our text i'll call it as let's say liquidy animation i'll select my text i'll make it something like this i'll increase the distance between letters to 1000 select all the letters i am alt over here control alt home to align the anchor point to the center go to the align tab align this over here and over here press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit hit ctrl d drag it over here press s for scaling option scale it and i'll see as we can see we are getting something like this go to the character i don't want fill over here the only thing i want is stroke and stroke width i'll choose one and for the stroke color with the help of the speaker i'll choose let's set this color only hit t for opacity and let's make it 50 percent not 5 but 50 just like this right click create new adjustment layer and simply apply glow effect on it increase the glow threshold up to 90 increase the glow radius up to 50 percent or you can make it 100 let's make it 85 so yep as you can see we have this liquidy animation i'll make it 25 it will lag sometime because this kind of animations are quite heavy to render another thing you can do you can simply create one adjustment layer and apply cc lens effect on it and increase the size it will create one bulgy look it's not necessary if you want after that don't forget to create one background i'll create one background over here go to the effect and presets and apply four color gradient 
and all the colors i'll choose are in blue format not in alternate color this is always already blue again create one another background which is completely dark and black select this four color gradient layer press t for opacity make it 40 so yep yeah, this is our final animation So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Until then, stay tuned.